I was able to detect a circle of high dignitary figures during the World War, including ministers, generals, mayors of uh, Bucharest, two mayors of Bucharest, studying Kabbalah with the Jewish Kabbalists. We have at least two manuscripts written in 1942 and 1944, which can give us an idea what was Kabbalah in this circle in Bucharest which were for sure delivered in this circle, by the leader of this circle, a Kabbalist, unknown. So he taught this circle, which helped him to survive the Second World War in conditions which were very, very difficult. But you cannot imagine generals were coming there to a small apartment in, in, in Bucharest. For a while, this guy was detained in a, in a camp, and he continued to teach from the camp by correspondence, meaning he was delivering his lectures by correspondence, and the secretaries were coming to the family in pain for one of the letters they received from the game. So, what is interesting in the writings of uh, this Emmanuel Stein is an attempt to offer a synthesis between someone who knew Kabbalah in original, but uh, he, was, he was interpreting Kabbalah according to whatever was on the market, like many other people today. Uh, he wrote the two, artic- uh, the two books in 42-44, but he continued to write uh, additional notes on the market. And that is what he was uh, teaching his uh, disciples. Some of them were killed because they were high dignitaries during the Second World War. Uh, they were killed after, after the end of uh, the war. But it is very bizarre to see to what extent Kabbalistic ideas attracted a range of Romanian intellectuals, from the most important philosopher, Naya Unesco, up to mayors of Bucharest, who attended those, those uh, lectures. 